Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a really, really highly requested video. I've had these tattoos since I was like 19. I'm always getting like questions like which one hurt the most? Which one's your favourite? And so many questions that I just thought, why not just sit down and make a video and show off my tattoos? So yeah, before you start this video, please like and subscribe and let's get on with the video. So I'm going to start off with the first tattoo, which was this one on my arm. I found this tattoo on Pinterest. And I like just screenshotted it, told the tattoo artist to literally copy it. He did do a little few changes to the tattoo, like he put like these little flower parts. The photo that I saw, it wasn't as shaded as this one. I expected it to be a lot more painful than what it was. But he was the most painful part for me. Yeah, definitely he was well. I can still remember the pain. So this tattoo was my second tattoo. I got all of this done all in one session. It took about, I think it was also five hours to be fair. It goes here and then it wraps all the way around my arm to here as well and then the hand tattoo it was just a little butterfly with the little dangles as well this tattoo cost me i didn't even tell you how much this cost me actually i think it was about 490 or something this one i think was also the same but put it this way i've got like a grand worth of tattoos on this arm so that's all i need to say yeah the pain for these tattoos i think the most painful part was probably this bit here and maybe like these bits so then I went to go get this snake one. I am still quite on and off about this tattoo. At first, I absolutely loved it. But then I was like, is it weird that I've got a snake on my arm? Like, most people question why I got this tattoo done. I kind of saw it on Pinterest. I knew I wanted this arm, like, patchwork. Like, stuff here, stuff here, stuff here. I kind of just wanted something quite big but thin on my arm. So I chose this. And I do actually like it, like... Sometimes when I look at it, I'm like, you know what, that's pretty cool. But I love how the tattoo just like wraps around my arm like this. And the snake is just like really, really detailed. So the next tattoo, which was probably the most painful one. So it's this 2001 tattoo here. This cost me around, it actually cost me 50 quid. And it's probably the worst done tattoo. Because I went to a different tattoo artist. And because it was so cheap, um, it's just not the best I mean, don't get me wrong like i do like the tattoo i do like the placement i think it looks cool but if you have a closer look like i'll show you you can kind of see how patchy it is like it's just faded in certain ways it does look good for a wig you probably wouldn't notice but if you looked at it for too long or like you looked at it close enough you'd see how patchy it is but because i remember how painful this tattoo was i'm just too scared to like go get it more filled in. So I'm just trying to convince myself that I'm not really mad about it. So about a month after I got this tattoo, I got this tattoo, which is a bull, but it's a Taurus sign because I'm a Taurus. Like, I love this tattoo so much, but this one, this one was the most painful one. Like, I know I said this one was painful. I almost cried from this one. My tattoo artist were getting so pissed off. Like, he didn't really tell me that he was getting pissed off. But I could tell that it was getting pissed off. I've never ever felt pain like it. I'm not going in that area ever, ever again. Next tattoo I got is this rose here. This will cost me 70 quid, I'm pretty sure. And this was the first hand tattoo that I ever got and it wasn't painful at all. Like, I think it's because I've been through these two painful. All the others just wasn't, just didn't feel as painful anymore. This tattoo was a very, very last minute tattoo. Like, I think I booked it within like, the day before but yeah i really like this tattoo I've, I've had a lot of compliments of this tattoo actually so this one in between my boobs was the next one i got this one is because i had tattoos like all of my arms i just felt like i needed something in the center to like make everything look even if you know what i mean that's not really the word i just felt like i had tattoos on my arm and the rest of my body were just plain but this is a closer look of the rose i literally just fell in love with this rose straight away because it would just it was just something different in a different place. So this tattoo doesn't often come out like in the winter. It often shows like when I wear tops like this or if I'm on holiday and stuff. It's quite a hidden tattoo at times. I thought this actually wasn't painful either. I don't know how. It was obviously like a scratchy feeling. Like I could feel it, but it wasn't painful. But this area is really sensitive. That's why it's always red right now. It's just, I don't know what it is about this area. It's just really sensitive and it just burns easy and everything like in the sun. But yeah, I literally love this tattoo. Like, I remember I got this tattoo in summer and I would just always wear, like, these bralette tops even, like, out during the day to go to town or anything. I would just wear, like, these bralette tops. A bit like this, but it's, like, it's like a bikini top. And I just wanted to always show this tattoo off as well, which I don't know why. Next tattoo is actually on my leg. So I think this tattoo cost me about, I want to say, 170 
I got this one off Pinterest. I kind of swear something on my leg because I got something everywhere else. This is the only tattoo that I think I will ever, ever get on my leg. Like, I feel like all my tattoos kind of balance each other out. So the next tattoo I got is also the one that gets very hidden most of the time. This tattoo I wanted for so long. I remember always telling people, like, I want a tattoo that says Angel. This is a closer look to the tattoo. And it just says Angel. I can't remember what type of writing this is. The only time people want to see this tattoo is like when I wear bikinis and stuff. The next tattoo that I got is on my fingers and this patience one. I wanted this patient tattoo for so long, like I'm talking like two years. By the way, I literally have no patience whatsoever. I just liked how it just sits on the hand. And then I got all these finger tattoos as well. Um, I got the lightning on my thumb. I got like these two lines here, I'm not sure why. This one, then I got this here. And then I got like these two arrows up. Um, I like this one to be fair. I'm literally not effing it yet. I literally do not mean to do this. <laughs> that was pretty good actually. That was not faded. And then I also got little dots here as well. Yeah, I think all the fingers cost me about 70 quid as or maybe it was a hundred. On to the last tattoo. I got all of this done all together. I actually got all of this done for free as well. My tattoo artist must have just been feeling amazing that day. <laughs> Becoming very, very good friends with my tattoo artist. And I don't get a free tattoo, so can't complain. This tattoo is the one that's pretty much always out. Nobody ever, ever misses this tattoo because I never really had my chest covered. I'll show you a closer look. So this is a move and it was actually a sticker per. This tattoo actually made me feel really, really sick. Imagine going like that to your foot. I can't, like, I remember the feeling and it, it was just awful, like, I hated it. And then I get questioned a lot to why I've got barbed wire on my collarbone. And that's because I wanted something on my collarbone. And I remember sending my tattoo artist, like, flowers. Kind of just flowers just going like this. And it was like, everybody's literally got flowers there, like, do something different. So he came up with this idea. And I was like, you know what, since I'm getting it for free, you can decide what I get here. So I got the barbed wire. And honestly, like, I wasn't even mad about it. Like, I actually still like it. And then I got this butterfly tattoo as well, which I absolutely love. Like, I love this tattoo so much. So long, I wanted something on my chest. But I never had the guts to do it. Just because... It would always be there. Like it's on your chest. It's right next to your neck. It's right next to your face. So when people look at you, they're going to like look here as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to get any more tattoos. Like I did want like tattoos here. And I wanted a massive thigh tattoo as well. That was like a skull. And it had like roses all over and everything. I don't think I need any more. And I don't want to look absolutely covered in tattoos. So yeah, I think this might be it. I did always want a full neck tattoo. So, so happy that I never got a full tattoo on my neck. But yeah, that's all of my tattoos. Let me know which one's your favourite tattoo because I think my favourite one is definitely this one, my first one. But I'd love to know which one's your favourite. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.